I'll show you how to enter limit orders on Coinbase Advanced. So on the right hand side, this is where we enter all of our orders and I'll show you buying and selling. So with a limit order, what we have to do is choose the order type right here and then just make sure you're on limit. Now you'll notice with limit orders that you get to choose the amount that you want to trade and also the price. Now a limit price is an instruction to the trading system to say that you want to trade immediately as long as the price is at or better than your limit price that you set. So that just means, let's say you want to buy some Bitcoin, but you don't want to pay 100K per Bitcoin, you want to pay 98K per Bitcoin. You can set that limit price and the system will not trade unless the price is 98 or lower if you're buying. And so if you want to sell, let's say you want to sell at 100 and the price is 99, you can say to the system, I want to sell at 100, don't sell until the price gets to 100. If it's 99, it won't trade. If someone's willing to trade with you at 100 and your order gets matched, you can go ahead and trade. So on the buy side, what I'm gonna do right here is put my limit price in. So I'm gonna put a limit price just below the actual price that Bitcoin is trading at. So right now the price is trading at 79,000 pounds per Bitcoin. You may be trading dollars or euros or anything else. So what I'm gonna do is put a limit order in here of 75,000. Now with limit orders, if you're on the buy side, your limit order is going to be, be below the price. If your limit order is above the price, so let's say the current price is uh, 79,000 per Bitcoin, and I say buy with a limit price of 100,000 per Bitcoin, well, it's just gonna trade immediately, right? Because I'm saying buy immediately if the price is 100K or better, and it's 79K, it's gonna trade immediately. That's not a limit order in that case, that's actually just a market order because it's gonna go through immediately. Uh, so we need to choose a limit price below the current price and then our order goes on the order book with the other people that are bidding for Bitcoin. So I'm going to be uh, yeah, putting my 75,000 uh, limit order in and then the amount that you can choose, so I'm going to choose an amount here, uh, that's the amount that you spend in the other side of the uh, trading pair. So I'm going to spend this much and I know that the limit price is this and so it can work out. You want to spend this amount times that price, it tells you what fraction of a Bitcoin or any other cryptos that you can buy. So we're gonna put this in, we're gonna press buy BTC. And down here, you can see that that order has been entered. So this is the trading pair, this is my limit price, and the price is 75,000. This is the amount that I would get. Notice it hasn't traded yet because the price in the market is 79,000 per one unit. And because other people are willing to pay more than me, sellers are gonna to sell to them first and not to me. So my order, 75,000, is in the system and it's working and it's waiting for someone to sell to me at 75. If the price of Bitcoin falls, I'll get my trade done. If it doesn't fall and there's no one willing to trade with me, then my order will just sit there forever on the order book waiting for that price someday to maybe uh, you know, actually hit and then I, you know, I can exchange the cash for Bitcoin but it may never trade if the price never gets there. If you want to edit this, you can go to the right hand side, go to actions, and then from here, you can go ahead and edit. Uh, so for example, we can cancel the order, we can edit the order. This means that you can edit the price or the size that you want to tra uh, trade at. So you can up the price a little bit if you don't think it's gonna get done and everything else. You can, of course, cancel the order out as well. So we can press uh, cancel. And what that does is cancels the limit order. Because you haven't traded anything, you don't pay any trading fees. If you want to sell your crypto, then a limit order would be above the current price. So I'm gonna choose sell right here. And then my limit price is gonna be 100,000 and I can put that sell order in. That is above the current price of 79,000. Now, if my limit price was say 50 on the sell side, well, I'm gonna sell immediately, right? Because the price is 79,000. So I would match with a buyer at that point. That would also go through as a market order and not a limit order. A limit order is where you use a limit and it is expected that your order goes onto the book, which means that your price has to be away from the current price. That's above for selling and below for buying. So I can put that limit order in, that would work for me, and I would wait until the price hopefully rises and then uh, there'll be someone to exchange with me. Now, using limit orders, the important thing to know as well is this right here where it says execution, and it says allow taker or post only. This is really important because uh, Coinbase charge different fees depending on what order type that you use. So if you use market orders, which everyone knows, right? So a market order right here is where you don't choose the price that you pay, you just choose the amount that you trade. And what you're doing with the market order is going over to the order book and actually taking someone else's order out of the book. So they're showing their price and you're saying, I don't care about the price, I just wanna buy your Bitcoin, so I'm gonna take your order, right? 
you are taking their liquidity out of the order book and they're showing liquidity. Now on Coinbase, they charge higher transaction fees, higher trading fees for taker orders. So if we're using a market order or if our order is lifting and taking someone else's liquidity out the book, we pay higher trading fees. Just the starting trading fee on Coinbase is 1.2% on Coinbase Advanced. If you are a maker of liquidity, that is you, you, you use limit orders where your limit price is away from the price and so it goes on the book. You are then making liquidity on the order book and uh, Coinbase charges cheaper fees for that starting at 60 basis points, which means that if you use limit orders away from the price and your order goes into the system, your trading fees are cut in half, which is really important. The other thing is what you want to do right here where it says execution is make sure that your orders can't go in as uh, taker orders. You don't want to get your order traded immediately because that means you're taking someone else's liquidity and you're paying higher fees. In order to prevent that happening, you can click this right here where it says post only. What this does is if your order, even a limit order, if it can go in and trade immediately and take someone else's liquidity, that's going to pay higher trading fees. Post only prevents that. Post only says if your order can trade immediately, then remove it and don't trade. That just is insurance to make sure that you don't trade immediately and pay the higher fee. Where it says allow taker here, that means that if your limit order is in, for example, if I'm a seller of, at 50,000 and I can trade immediately because the price is way higher, basically I made a mistake, then allow taker would actually trade immediately for me and pay the higher fees. Post only would reject the order.